to Tano Kali and Righty on Y254. Okay, without further ado, we have our second guest of the evening. Mm. Okay, so we have an artist. Let me tell you, first of all, to exclusive. Uh -huh. To exclusive. Um, what's the word? What's the word? Just know we are. Kizungu na nipotea. Just we just it's an exclusive interview. Basically, mm -hmm. we're the first people to interview this artist that's coming on board since he's releasing EP. His EP was literally released a couple of hours ago. So it's mm -hmm. beyond an honor to be the one to interview him first and to get to hear the magic behind how he came up with the songs on his EP, how he collaborated with a couple of other people, or maybe he did it all by himself. We never know what the magic happens. But allow me to introduce African Vic, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Hi. Hello. Karibu Tanokali. Asante sana. How are you feeling so far? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, after releasing music, how does it feel the minute you're like, oh, I've been working on this for months and it's time, it's out in the public now? There's pressure. Really? Is, yes. it, is it internal or just? It's internal, mostly. Ah, yeah. More of how they'll receive it, I'm a more yes. of how they will. Yeah, more, more of how they'll receive the music, you know, ah. if they will receive it and accept it and share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that pressure. Yeah. Uh, I've had, there's an artist who said, mm. someone with here and then they said, mm. the minute we release music, you have to ac una, una, una part in your, you fight to accept that people will receive it however they like to because yeah. you've made it for yourself and for them. Yeah. How, is, would you agree on that a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 like eventually you have to accept. And uh, it's it's okay. It's it's a journey, so it's fine. Ah, okay. Yes. We started really a bit on the series. So please, mm -hmm. not a lot of people because as artists, kuna kwa ngalile kafili ya kujidamplay, ku stay on the background a little bit. Mm -hmm. But may I love for people to give themselves flowers as much as they do. So please, for those that do not know who you are, mm -hmm. who is African Vic? Uh, African Vic is an R and B soul artist. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what else am I supposed <laughs> to say? <laughs> but I'm an R&B soul artist. Uh, mm -hmm. Done a couple of songs. Uh, not won an award yet, mm -hmm. but got a privilege of being on uh, Netflix ah, last year. Wow. Yes. So. But you did. Uh, what are they called? Nimesa. When you write music for a movie. You sync deal. He's. Uh, a sync deal for the oh, series uh, oh. series volume, yes. Ah, that's beautiful. Yes. Ooh, yes. guys. Ah, yeah. Look at us having superstars on the show. <laughs> okay. Ah, so now let's, without even wasting a lot of time, your EP that literally dropped a couple of hours ago. Yeah. Um, I wanted to find out. Okay. So basically, a, a, a little bit told me that this will it release come out through your random um, social media videos. You're like, I'm just jamming. Let me just share it with my audience. Mm -hmm. And then it got a lot of hype around it and everybody was like, ah, oh, no, we want the full song, we want the full song. Is that, what, how was it? What's, what, 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 uh, I just, I want to hear the whole tea. Yeah, so I was in the middle of uh, working on my social media since we know that that's, you have to mm -hmm. do marketing yes. there, right. you know, so I just decided to, to write a lot mm -hmm. and working on my production skills as well while right. I've started producing, so. And then the people sort of like the music, you know, they, they, they vibe to it. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, why not? Why not release the whole thing? Mm -hmm. So um, I started working on the songs, all of them, writing second verses, working ah. on the beat themselves, uh, the, the beat itself. And then, Ika, Ika, Malizika, now we are here. It was a back and forth, mm -hmm. you know, being the first time to self-produce. Right. This is crazy. So back and forth within yourself or with the people? With myself, people. because then you're, you're, you're like, I, I sound kama, I sound kama. Yeah. But then I hear the sound kama and you're starting. So I mean, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's fine. So you put I've it I've accepted out. that this is how it is. Yes. Ah, yes. okay. Yes. I want to, how protective are you of your art? Like when it comes to something that you've written by yourself, produced by yourself, mm. the whole shebang. What's, what, how does it go for you? Like, um, from what point of view? Uh, in terms of how, how it's received. Mm. Actually, something that you know you've put in your, it's very, it's, uh, it's personal to you. Yeah. So how does you, how do you come about with accepting what the audience, how the audience may receive it? I think in the back of my, in the back of my head, najua tu, kuna watu kubali, na kuna watu Nani sawa? Yeah. Ni sawa because, 
people have grown up different. Mm -hmm. They have different tastes, and I understand. It doesn't mean that when me see me normal, me normal, mm -hmm. <laughs> but kuram to kwake me me see it's okay, it's ah. fine. So I'm just okay because I know that eventually mm -hmm. I'm finding my audience, mm -hmm. and I'm growing that way. So that's what consoles me. Yeah. All right. Yes. Actually, is high one of high is one of the ones that will find you for vibes. There was this like uh, let me tell you I saw it and I was seeing the, the, the what's the fluorescent light what, is that what it's called what I was seeing the video like look at set a home mood yeah that's the one you knew would love that song <laughs> I think you knew what you were doing <laughs> no I was, it was just vibes actually mm -hmm. everything everything was just that's that's where the name of the EP came from ah. unscripted like there was no I had not planned that this time of the year I'll be releasing an EP with this, this, oh, this. Wow. It's just at the beginning of the year I started writing. Mm -hmm. I liked it and I finished the songs. So mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's where it came mm. from. And yeah. then you describe it as raw and unfiltered. Yeah, because I, I, you know, when, 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 when you're writing to just put out songs, at times you may be overwhelmed mm -hmm. with the need to, to, to please the audience or Ooh. to make mm -hmm. them like the song. So then you don't write to your in the Lightning. most real form because when mm -hmm. you the song or say a vibe to the song and all mm -hmm. that but then you look at me and i say to the instagram and and tiktok and stuff mm -hmm. so that's that's why i just i feel like it's 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 the realest it can be mm. yes Okay, so was it the same thing as the other two songs on the EP as well? Yes. Literally just vibes. Yes, just vibes. Ah, wow. And mm. then, so, because you made, you, what is it your, because like you said, it was, not your, it was not your plan to release an EP at this time of the year. Yeah. Was it your plan to also do it individually, for you to write it and produce it individually? No. Um, how did that come about? Uh, because I, as I told you, I've, I've been working on trying to become a, a producer. Because mm. ah, we're economy. Right. Yes, you know, and just uh, learning a skill is good. It just mm -hmm. makes you a better artist, you know. And so, in the process, so consistently putting out music on the social media pages, you know, mm -hmm. to just grow, to grow the skill of writing mm -hmm. and of producing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, then, because I started making the music. And I, I figured, I mean, I need this small stuff that is nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can just make it a bit longer and st right. sti still nice. It will mm -hmm. be okay. It may not be up to a certain level, but it will be good. Mm -hmm. And I've had it here. Oh, my God. It <laughs> sounds nice. <laughs> it sounds yeah, nice. It sounds yeah. really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so I wanted, before now that you did, you're working towards becoming a producer. What has your experience been like working with producers previously? What's that relationship like for artists and producers within the industry? Uh, I think it depends with the producer, mm. and it depends with where you are, you are, you are as a as an artist at the moment. Mm. Uh, at the moment, um, so kuna my producer ako tu sa amain kuwa kana namse bado ana ana grow. Na kuna my producer, they will make you feel like you are really growing. <laughs> you know, and remember that mm -hmm, you know, and mm -hmm. it's not a good feeling because mm -hmm. you have to chase them, go after them here. So you, you end up taking a lot of time before you release, not because the music is not ready, but because you can't find, mm -hmm. you can't find them, they're, they're too busy for you, quote unquote, you mm -hmm. understand. Uh, but I mean, most of the ones that I've worked with, I'm grateful because then it's, it's fluid, it just goes, mm. you understand, yeah. Oh, I really like that. Uh, so um, now that this one wasn't planned, but it's magical, mm. uh, what is something that we should expect in the future? Collaborations, maybe an album, mm. something like that. Yeah, there will be an album, uh, most probably in August, um, which will be uh, a lot of beautiful collaborations, if mm -hmm. I may say. I was, I was trying not to shrap. <laughs> you look at me, calculate the back of your mind. <laughs> yes, yes, mm -hmm. so there will be a lot of, of, of that. And uh, I mean, I just... Ngoja too. Tunaza mwana. put exclusive ya who we might see on the project, <laughs> maybe. Ayo, <laughs> pana. Ah. Well, we can't get both. We can't get the bots of both of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the yeah. first interview. Ayo, tu si, kuna utamu ka ujui kitu. Ya ujui kesho yiko aje. That's true, that's true. Yes. Una sikia wa sani, ujui kesho yiko aje. Just, just look. All right. Um, performances, where are we expecting to see? I believe you're performing some over the weekend. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, the Vibe 254. Uh, 
on Sunday, 31st March, mm -hmm. um, from like the gates open at 12 p.m. Yes, it's going to be an amazing show with amazing, amazing artists, mm -hmm. you know, which Atamina mm -hmm. Ngoja Kuwaskia. Ah. Yes, Atamina Ngoja Kuwaskia San. Mm -hmm. And I'll also be there performing. We'll get to hear the EP and share good mm. vibes, you know. It's going to be magical. So oh, that's really happy. lovely. Okay, so yeah. guys, here's an EP. You can <coughs> literally go stream it. And then you can also get a chance to listen to him live. And uh, for those that may not know how to access your music, Tunaza Kupatawapi, or just the music, which music platform will you find you and by what name? Uh, so you, you'll find me everywhere. Wambia <laughs> Palewa. <laughs> You'll find me everywhere, Instagram, TikTok, uh, what else is there? X. X. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music, African Vic, it's just African Vic, African VIC. Mm. Yes, so, mkini tafuta, mutanipata. All right, you yeah. heard it. Okay, uh, without further ado, let's listen to a little bit of a glimpse of what African, African VIX EP sounds like. Melanin invasion, she walks in and she grabs attention. She's a royal woman and the topic of my every conversation, yeah. Afro kinky hair, the way you're bold and you don't care. I bet they never told you, but I think that you should know that Black girl, you're very beautiful Something about you magical Not human, this is spiritual African woman, black girl, you're very beautiful Something about you magical Not human, this is spiritual African woman Yeah, yeah yeah, 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 yeah,